The truth is the person of Jesus Christ and his ministry. That is him. He said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. Nobody comes to the Father except by me. He is the mediator of the new covenant. In Romans chapter 7, he addresses men who claim to understand the law. He says, I am speaking to them that know the law, how that the law has dominion over a man as long as he liveth. For the woman who has a husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, then she's loose from the law of her husband. Wherefore, he says, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that you should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. He said, whoa, did you get it? If you understand this, you'll bring forth fruit to God. Listen. Every believer must understand the duality of this experience, the double-edgedness of this redemptive work. You cannot sacrifice yourself in, in only celebrating the resurrected life when you have not understood the death with which he died. There is a man that died with him and there is a man that is alive with him because the part of your dying with him was the part where the Lord died. The new man regenerated in Christ does not know sin. He doesn't understand it. That which is born of God, the Bible says, cannot commit sin. It does not. That's what he says in 1 Peter 1 23. Being born again, not of corruptible seed. That means the spirit man in you is incorruptible. That spirit man you can never sin. It's not in his nature, it's not in his knowledge, it's not in his action, it's not anywhere. He's joined with the Lord, he's one spirit with the Lord. That man in you who received Jesus Christ is a hundred percent pure.